Today, attorneys for the couple who are suing Lincoln County, Tennessee in the Jack Daniels Barrel House case faced a judge to determine the outcome of that lawsuit. So according to the attorneys, Brown Foreman Corporation and Jack Daniels are operating several warehouses for storage without a valid permit. News 19's Archie Snowden has been following the latest developments on the story and joins us live with more. Okay, guys, after uh, those attorneys who heard from concerned residents who live in the area, uh, the attorneys began looking into whether Jack Daniels had a valid working permit to operate in that area. And they found, according to them, only one of the eight warehouses that operates between Lincoln and Moore counties had a valid permit. Well, that permit, according to them, was issued only hours before today's hearing. So a building permit uh, was issued for one of the facilities late yesterday afternoon, uh, and that is the only building permit for any of these eight buildings that has ever been issued. Attorney Jason Holman says that that is the basis that lays the groundwork for the lawsuit filed on behalf of his clients, Patrick and Christy Long, whose home is adjacent to the Jack Daniels Barrel Warehouses, owned and operated by the Brown Foreman Corporation. The Longs and hundreds of other Lincoln County and Moore County residents have complained to the Lincoln County Commission and the mayor that the ethanol from the barrel houses creates a black fungus that destroys plants, trees, and has disrupted a healthy way of living for far too long, and that their complaints have been ignored by the county commission, who attorneys were shocked to find that the county allowed Jack Daniels to operate without valid permits. I'm very surprised to see uh, a corporation this large, this well-educated in these types of processes just move forward without any of the approvals, without any of the permits. Attorney Jason Hallman presented the lawsuit today to the Lincoln County judge who did not rule on the lawsuit, but he says that he expects a swift result. There are a lot of exhibits that were taken in. There was a lot of testimony. Um, so we expect that he will consider that evidence and issue a ruling sometime in the next few days. Now, according to the attorneys, when the judge asked the Lincoln County mayor that how could he allow these businesses to operate without a valid working permit, according to them, the judge answered, because I'm the mayor. That mayor also refused our request for comment. For now, we're live. Archie Snowden, News 19.